You first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3. Weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back everyone. So we are in the middle of a low pressure spin and although it's starting to bring us a few showers right now, this is a look over the last 12 hours and you can see it was a very busy overnight. The thunder woke me up. I'm not sure if it did you, but it was certainly quite loud out there. Lots of rain to be seen across the area. So how much did we see? Well, here's just a few numbers for you. Zumbro Falls getting around over seven inches of rain. I believe it too. We had so much moisture in the atmosphere. It was just ready to go. Mazeppa but closing in on five inches of rainfall here Wednesday night through Thursday morning this morning. Austin getting around three inches. Rochester just under two inches of rainfall. It wasn't quite as wet in places like Mason City where we were under a well, we were under an inch by a long shot. We were under half an inch too, but hey, rain is still rain. It was enough to water some of the plants, the lawns, the crops out there, and we needed some. It had been a while since we got some good rain. Moving over to satellite and radar now. Once again, this is a look at the last hour. We can see we are part of that spin, so all of this will be coming through here soon enough. We are dealing with some cloud cover, and those of us with a little more of the sunshine will be dealing with it here in the next couple hours. The center of the low is right there in Wisconsin, but as it continues to move out, you can see there's a lot of stillness around us. Plenty of sunshine and it will be making a big comeback here as we head into our Friday. All right, I wanted to show off a few of our live eyes because we don't necessarily have much rain going on at the moment, but we got the clouds here. We saw it. It's all part of that rotation. Rochester, you see in a little of the blue sky, won't be seeing much more of it here as the clouds continue to move in. Give it to later today, then things clear out. Austin, some clouds there. We're seeing kind of half and half in Albert Lee, maybe more of the cloud cover now. A few hours have gone by. And in Mason City, we got sunshine. We got blue skies. Mason City will be seeing a few of those clouds later on today as well. Sky Tracker 3 shows us as we uh, continue to watch that spiral. This is around 3 p.m. You can see the clouds moving into places like Mason City, Austin, sticking with us in Rochester. A few pop-up showers definitely possible because we still have plenty of moisture left in the atmosphere. Hard to believe with some of those numbers, but it's certainly true. We still have a little ways to go. Some rain in Minneapolis, the Twin Cities. Most of this will be sticking to the northern portion of the area, slipping just south of I-90. As we get later on, this is around 5 p.m., 7 p.m., starting to see some of the drier air finally make a move. By 9 p.m., even a few lingering showers will be possible. We can see what's right behind it, though, and as we head into our uh, late night, this is around 11 p.m., we finally start to clear out. Friday comes along. Here we are 8 a.m. on Friday. Plenty of sunshine. Another way of looking at the rain here over the next couple hours is it's staying on more of the isolated side. We may start to see it pop up here during the late afternoon, the chances. So something to keep in mind if you're headed to say Thursdays downtown or Thursdays on Main. Grab the umbrella. We're not going to get hit with anything too crazy. Still possibility that we could get some heavy rain. Current temperatures right now, absolutely beautiful. Temperatures under that 80 degree mark, so below average. And speaking of Thursdays downtown, you got cloudy skies over the next couple hours. But then we got to enjoy these temperatures while we've got them. Annalise, the next 10 days show that we warm right back up before a nice set of 70s come our way. Seven day forecast shows that as well with a few spots of rain. Consistent 70s is gonna feel awesome. So good, so good. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs>